So the way arches work is that it takes the force and it channels the force in compression, so in squashing forces all the way around its shape and then at the base of the arch you have to have something to resist that horizontal push that you get. And then the arch is a really stable shape and it does a great job at holding up huge Roman viaducts, for example. If we then take this a step further and turn it into three dimensions, so what I've done here now is I've got lots of bits of card and I've put them into thin strips and I've kind of stuck a tack through them and sealed the other side with blue tack. And I'm going to just kind of fan this out so that we move into two dimensions first. So you can create a kind of circle of these strips. And then what we're going to do is we are going to support the underside and then we're going to try and create a dome shape now the clever thing about the dome here is that the rubber band basically holds the base of the dome together so when you go and visit the Pantheon, for example, you'll see this amazing concrete dome above your head and what they've done there is they've made the concrete at the base of the dome thicker than it is at the top because the thicker concrete does the job of this rubber band which is to hold and bind the dome together. So there you go, those are two other clever pieces of structure. You've got the arch in two dimensions and the dome in three.